what you need is some string. We have here different kinds of string and ribbon so that you can try different, you know, maybe make a pattern or something that you might like like that. Uh, you need some tape, a little popsicle stick, a fat popsicle stick, but another little popsicle stick will do if that's what you have. You need a piece of cardboard. So this cardboard is, let's see, here we have to measure. So this cardboard is, let's measure it. Let's see, on the ruler, it says it is about 10 inches by about, let's see, by about five inches, but you can actually do it any way that you like. It's just good for your first time if it's kind of a longer than what you want because you have to tie it at the end so you need some room at the end to tie. So what we have here is just uh, the card is, the cardboard is um, cut. Here we go, we did it at two centimeters. We did a little snip, 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 snip here. And then we did the exact same right across. We snipped all the way across here. So you'll need scissors to snip a little, like little slits in there. You don't want them too, too long. See, I'll put it up to the camera so you can see they're not very long. All right, and so what you do is start by, you tape your string or yarn on the back. So it's taped to start off. Now this is gonna be the front. Then what you're gonna do is go across into the slit that's directly across from the one that you started with. And then you go behind and come back out on that slit. Then you go on the other side, put it into that slit. And then, so I'll show you the back so you can see what we're doing. So it just went around each like a little flap. So this one, I'm gonna go around. And then we're gonna go right across to the other one. So it looks kind of like guitar strings, right? And you're gonna go across just like this and back around behind and back out and we're almost done. There we go. Okay, so now it's all started and if you, if you want to snip off this end, if it's gonna get in your way, you can do that and just snip it. Okay, so now we have this, so we are ready to weave. So let's start with this little, little light, this blue, uh, one and interesting to start weaving is this kind that has different colors if you have that because it'll make a more interesting pattern here you also have ribbon and so that would make like a fatter pretty part and then we also have just some regular you know maybe you just like a plain um little patch in there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my yarn and i'm going to tape it on here so sometimes you'll see they use a needle but you don't need a needle if you have a popsicle stick and a piece of tape. There you go. And then you can also kind of wrap it around there. So I'm wrapping it around the popsicle stick. But you don't want it just too fat because then it's going to bug you. It's even pretty on the popsicle stick. So here we go. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie it to my first string here, tied on. You're gonna have your, your fat popsicle stick, stand it up if you like. You don't have to use this popsicle stick. If it bothers you, leave the popsicle stick alone. So we're gonna start by going, so we went over the first one, under. See, it kind of comes down on you under over then I'm gonna pull it through now you don't want to pull too tight because then it's gonna start to make it go like this and that's not gonna look good in the end so my last one was over so when I go back I'm gonna go under then over Then over and under. So it'll always be opposite of the one that you just did. Now don't pull tight, but you can. You can use your popsicle stick again. You can push it up. 
as high as it'll go. The popsicle stick is good for that too. Now we're going to do it again. So our last one, we're going to look. Our last one was under. So we're going to go over, then under this one. So every other one. So this one is over, then under it, then over it, then under it, then over it, and pull. So now we're going to go back. So my last one was over, so I know I have to go under, over, under, over. Then I'm going to pull my popsicle stick, and then I'm going to use my fat popsicle stick, and push it up. Now, another thing you can do with the popsicle sticks, so now that you probably have it, it's under, over, under, over, then over, under, over, under, right? It's the opposite. The next thing, what you can do is you can weave your popsicle stick so that it is one of the overs or the unders, whichever one. It's only going to be able to do one of those two things, but it helps you so that, let's see. This one, our last one, was under, right? So this time we need to go, we're going to just do it without the thing. So under, over, under, over. And whenever you wind it on here, you don't want to wind too much because even this seems like a little bit too much is giving me a little bit of, a little bit of a problem whenever I go through. So you don't want to put too much string on there. Like maybe you want to cover it like two times with the amount of string because you can always tie another one on. It's not a big deal. So see this one is now, this is, so now it's ready for the way that the popsicle stick has gone because now I have to do an over under. So watch what I can do. What? And that's it. I'm just going to use my popsicle stick, push it there, but see, it was ready. But it can only do that every other one. So now whenever I go back, I'm going to go over, under, over, under, here we go. I'm going to pull it. So now I'm going to lift it back up again because I know that that's the one. So what you can do is you know that it's whenever you're going this way. So you can draw an arrow on your popsicle stick so that you know that it's when you go that way, you can use the popsicle stick to speed you up. So here you go. Then all you got to do is just throw it through there. That's it. But going back, you always have so every other one is the easy way, right? So now let's, let's go back one more time. I'm going to show you that one more time. Over, under, over, under. Here you go. Pulling it through. And see how nice the different colors are coming out on your on your weaving. So it, it looks like you did something fancy, but all you did was use regular yarn. It just has the different colors in it. Now I'm going to lift it up. And then all I got to do is just throw it through. That is super easy. Okay, now I'm going to change my color. So I'm going to cut this off. And then I have to, I can either keep it, I can either unravel it off of my popsicle stick or if you have the luxury of having another popsicle stick, you could have that one ready, but I don't. So I am going to just rip this one off. Then I'm going to try to add the ribbon. I'm going to tape my ribbon on there. I'm going to wrap it. I want to be careful to wrap it kind of more across here so that it's not fat anywhere. The problem is that was giving me some problems where it was fat. So you want to just kind of spread it out all the way across the whole thing. All right, now I'm going to just simply tie these two together, which in more advanced weaving is not how you do it. But since we're just starting, it's okay. There we go. Now this is going to add a little bit of a different texture to what I am making. So now because I can't use this one on this this direction, I always have to, so let's see, I'm going, I'm going under, then over, then under, then over. I'm gonna pull it through. It's probably gonna have a lot of the string and not so much of the ribbon. So this ribbon is bugging me. Maybe you like that sticking out, I don't. 
So I'm going to get rid of that. Now, I'm going to lift this up because I know that this one I can just to throw through, right? How easy is that? Now, my ribbon is a little twisted there. But you know what? I think that looks cute. And that's the beauty of this is that you do it however you think that it looks cute. Like, see, here's another tail. I don't like it, but some people like might like that extra texture. A little three-dimensional bit going on there. Okay, now, I went that way. Now, I'm going to go back with the ribbon. Over, under, over, under. There we go. Back with the ribbon. Now, all I got to do is lift it up because I'm going back this way. So that direction, I can always use my other popsicle stick. There we go. One more this way. Back. And then I'm going to show you how to take it off. Of course, you would want to go further because this is like not enough. And you always want to make sure you're pushing it up, right? Because the tighter it is, the better it's going to look, the better it holds together. So one more time, I'm going to lift up. I'm going to push it through. Super easy. All right, now, now that I'm done with it, I push it up as far as I can push it, right? I'm going to leave a little tail so that I can tie it. And then if I wanted to add other colors, I would just keep snipping and adding a color. It's just, just that easy. Okay, so then I'm going to... Leave that out a little bit. Now, how I'm going to do this is I'm going to take this off. Now, when you cut, so yours would probably, if you want to go as far as you can on this loom, you would go to about here because you're going to have to tie these together. So you want to leave enough for you to be able to tie without a problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to only cut two at a time because that is what I'm going to tie. If you cut them all at once, you're going to have a mess. Everything you did, you're going to cry because it all will fall apart. So here we go. I'm going to tie one knot there. So it has like a little thing. I'm going to tie. I'm going to cut these. Tie another knot here. I'm going to double knot it. One, two. This bad boy. I'm going to kind of get tied to this one. One, two. Okay. Now I can take it off of this. It up a little bit. Okay, so I just made this tiny little piece, but yours, of course, would be longer. Or you can just leave it on this if you want and then hang it up. But you can see that you already have like what looks like almost like a little piece of fabric that you made.